So the film is a kind of um, conversation between you, Ballard, and Smithson. Yes. And um, it's very connected to Smithson's spiral jetty and this very, very old idea that I had from um, when I first went to look for Robert Smithson's spiral jetty. In yeah, you made 19... a sound work, didn't you? Yeah, not yet. And I didn't find it, of course. It was submerged then. And also, in 1997, it was a different... Nobody was really looking for it. It was slightly exactly. forgotten. Now there are signposts. So, but, uh, but at that point, um, Jeremy Miller, who's the curator and artist Jeremy Miller, he talked to J.G. Ballard about this, this work of mine. And, and that started a correspondence between Ballard and myself about Smithson. And, and um, he was very interested in Smithson. Um, and Smithson was very interested in Ballard. Smithson even had a copy of The Voices of Time in, you know, in his collection of, of books. And there's, a, there's an incredible connection between the two works. You know, they're both in these saline landscapes. They're both about time but in a way that's kind of beyond comprehension. It took me a long time to work out where we were. Mm -hmm. um, was, was it snow? Was it ice? Was it salt? And this great landscape. So where was it shot? Well, it was filmed um, mostly in Utah, um, near Wendover, and also in Great Salt Lake. It was filmed in, in California, in um, Mono Lake, and um, Death Valley. The other thing I couldn't work out was scale. Mm -hmm. Whether I was looking at micro, micro crystalline structures or great sort of Caspar David Friedrich sort of yeah. ice flows or something. There's this incredible sense of flipping scale. Mm -hmm. And the art that, you know, you've got these character players, the, the armadillo spirals, and you hear the trudging feet. You're showing also some other works here, some postcards that you've, you've been overpainting to go back to something that is just so present and physical. These are all old, old postcards of Castle, pre-Second World War, mm -hmm. and showing this medieval town in the middle of Germany. And then you've gone back to the same sites, photographed the sites, I've got someone to photograph the sites, and you've either removed what's no longer there, or recorded in some way, the what's change. the change? This one was very, very simple. This one's, you know, just putting the lights. I like them when they're very, very subtle and almost nothing seems to have happened. Sometimes it was hard. I preferred it when it was very subtle because then I didn't have to do much work. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it's just impossible. You know, there was nothing, nothing. Like this one would have been the case. I would, there would have been absolutely nothing that connected the contemporary view of this to, to the historical view. So then I, would, I just painted a car. What you see in these postcards no longer exists yeah. at all. I mean, Kassel is a, is a massively destroyed city. It's quite an ugly city now. Sometimes there are people, sometimes totally without people, and that's, you, they sort of make you remember the general, you know, all the people that have gone to, I mean, not just because of time, but, mm. but they must have died in the, in the Blitz our very own British Blitz. 